So I came across this diagram on Reddit that maps hockey into a skill tree. And once I saw this, I knew I had to make a video on this. So let's get right into it. First off, I want to explain that hockey is a mysterious power that enables individuals to harness their own spiritual energy for various superhuman feats. If you're a fantasy degen like me, then you'll know that this concept exists in a lot of different fictional worlds. Since this energy stems from willpower, theoretically, all living creatures in the world can access it. However, the vast majority are either unaware of its existence or unable to tap into it. Like Hunter Hunter's Nenor or JJK's Cursed Energy, being able to unlock this puts you on a whole nother tier. With our current understanding of hockey, we can identify three distinct types, each linked to a specific ability. Observation hockey for sensing others' spiritual energy and anticipating their movements. Armament hockey can create a protective coating of energy from one's own body. And Conqueror's hockey, which is for a select group of chosen ones. I'm talking about you, Jalen. And I am a Super Saiyan. Which overwhelms the willpower of others. Now, the first type I want to get into is Observation Hockey. Observation Hockey is like increasing your awareness and perception stats in an RPG. The first talent lets you sense the strength of others around you, similar to the Scouter from Dragon Ball Z. This was first demonstrated when Luffy met Blackbeard during the Jaya arc. This confirmed that Luffy's hockey outpaced his bounty number pre-time skip. Now, the next talent would be Sensing Presence. This one is more like a radar and allows the users to detect others even if they're miles away from you. Hockey application is quite wide and can even be utilized with a user's Devil Fruit. During the Skypea arc, Enel was able to expand the range of his hockey by using his Devil Fruit to sense electroreceptors in the air, allowing him to eavesdrop on any conversation on the island. Like how our phones are listening to everything we say. And lastly, we have Intense Sensing, which is the most common use of observation hockey we see. This talent has direct effects in battle, giving the user the ability to sense when an attack is coming. Luffy's showdown with Kachikuri was a battle mainly focused on this aspect of hockey. Through the fight, Luffy was honing this ability like he was sharpening a blade, eventually reaching the point where he could match Kachikuri's ability to sense attacks. Which leads me into my next point, advanced hockey techniques. Like most skills in an RPG, you can upgrade the base talents to get a stronger, more defined effect. Future Vision is an evolved version of Intense Sensing. Rayleigh said that this particular form of hockey is extremely difficult to learn and cannot be trained. The users have to hone their intense sharing through the heat of battle. This particular application of hockey is so rare that only four characters in the series can use it. Luffy, Katakuri, Kaido, and Shanks. Now the next advanced technique is something we all wish we were better at emotion sensing. Now I know most of you are terminally online so the idea of sensing actual feelings might be foreign to you, but I'm sure we've all gone through an awkward or tense moment. It's like you can actually feel it in the air. George Bush doesn't care about black people. Sensing others emotions though can be traumatizing to the user if they're not prepared for it. The Admiral Fujitora was able to sense the joy in the citizens of Dress Rosa. Some users can even hear the spirit of objects and animals. As you all remember, Usopp's ability to hear Mary's call for them to jump into the sea. Now, the last technique in observation skill tree is the voice of all things. This technique allows the user to hear the voice of sea kings, Zunisha, and even Poneglyphs. Luffy, Shirahoshi, and Mononosuke are the only known users of this technique, and it isn't even confirmed that this is used through hockey. This is just my conjecture. Armament hockey is the most popular application of aura. By manipulating the spiritual energy to coat themselves, they create a layer of armor that multiplies their offensive and defensive stats, which is great for offsetting the social debuff you get from putting on blackface. This application of hockey also negates the effects of other Devil Fruit users, completely removing the aura of invincibility that Loki has had in the beginning of the series. Now, there are three major talents that come with armament hockey, hardening, imbuement, and flow. When it comes to the first talent, just think of Metapod. Maximum hardness, Metapod. And that's basically it. No, I'm kidding. But hardening is one of the most fundamental use of hockey when activated. This skill allows the player to coat chosen body parts with a black armor-like layer, which can have varying tints based off the character's unique attributes. For example, Luffy's coating is tinted red and Katakuri has a light blue one. Activating hardening significantly boosts the character's attack power, making their strikes incredibly destructive and dangerous. Like that one scene where Kaido was all like, Hardening serves as a powerful armor, protecting the user from a wide range of attacks. It can block both physical and elemental damage, especially from attacks not imbued with hockey. An example is Luffy using his forehead to shatter Rebecca's sword. Some might think that coating your entire body with hockey would be the next logical step, but it's actually seen as wasteful. This technique drains a significant amount of energy and spreads your hockey too thin. 
making it vulnerable to more concentrated hockey attacks. The next advanced skill is Devil Fruit Armament. Although this also drains a lot of hockey, the conversion rate leads to more potent effects. Luffy used his hockey to increase the tenacity of his skin, allowing him to inflate his muscles with the same amount of air as Gear 3rd, while keeping his body size compressed like a super bouncy ball. This transformation adds a tremendous amount of impact to his attacks. Now another method to add impact to your attacks without a devil fruit is called Armament Flow. Skilled users of Armament Hockey can let this energy flow out of their bodies, increasing the size of the armor that coats them. This allows them to attack opponents without ever touching them, similar to Naruto's Sage Mode he demonstrated in his fight against Pain. In his final moments with his fight with Kaido, Luffy used his emitting hockey to avoid Kaido's Fire Dragon and strike him with his ultimate attack. A step beyond emitting hockey is the ability to channel it into a target's body, destroying it from the inside out like when someone hits you right in your insecurities. This can achieve by touching, grabbing, or even emitting hockey towards the object. This type of attack is nearly unavoidable and cannot be easily defended against, making it the most destructive skill in the armament hockey skill tree. Armament hockey users can also transfer their hardening ability to objects they touch, thereby enhancing their weapons with the same power boost as their own bodies. Imbued weapons gain significant offensive strength. For example, the Kuja Warrior's hockey-infused arrows can pierce through solid stone. Imbuing your weapon with hockey also increases its durability, preventing it from being easily damaged and extending its lifespan. Mihawk, the world's strongest swordsman, emphasizes the importance of consistently imbuing one sword with armament hockey to prevent the blade from chipping. This though is a more advanced technique called permanent coating. By constantly exposing your blade to hockey in countless battles, your sword can eventually evolve into a kokuto, which translates to a black blade. These black blades are significantly stronger than normal blades, renowned for their remarkable resilience. Now let's move on to the granddaddy of them all, Conqueror's Hockey. Conqueror's is for the one of ones, the Chads and the Himothys. It is stated that anyone who has this ability also has the qualities of a king. Conqueror's is considered an extremely dangerous threat and a highly valuable asset by powerful groups such as the Four Emperors, the Marines, the Seven Warlords of the Sea, and the Five Elders. This type of hockey grants the user the ability to dominate the wills of others. Unlike other types of hockey, Conqueror's cannot be attained through training. Instead, users must be born with this ability and can only learn to control it after discovering they possess it. The hockey can be used to temporarily dominate and intimidate others. Shanks has demonstrated the ability to unleash his Conqueror's Hockey from a considerable distance, effectively intimidating even formidable individuals such as the Marine Admiral. Now by overpowering the will of those around them to an even greater extent, a Conqueror's Hockey user can render people and animals in their vicinity unconscious. Whether a person succumbs to unconsciousness depends on their strength relative to the users. Typically, ordinary citizens of common soldiers and pirates are most susceptible to being knocked out by Conqueror's Hockey, whereas individuals known for their capability, power, and strong will are less likely to be affected. Oda has stated that anyone rendered unconscious by Conqueror's Hockey is essentially deemed not worth fighting directly by the user. Although sufficiently powerful individuals can withstand the power without issue, they are still able to sense the presence of hockey being used. Clashes between exceptionally powerful individuals have even led to the creation of a massive rift in the sky above them, an event commonly referred to as splitting the heavens, and goes even further by generating what is known as black lightning. Now to even get this type of effect, users will have to imbue their strikes with Conqueror's Hockey similar to Armament. The application of Conqueror's provides such a tremendous boost in power that it enables Luffy to engage in a balanced clash with Kaido, widely acknowledged as the strongest living creature in the world. With the heightened level of hockey, Luffy's strikes now infused with Conqueror's became capable of dealing damage to Kaido. And with that, I think I've gone through every hockey ability on this skill tree. If you think I missed anything, make sure to leave a comment down below. And if you have any ideas on any future videos that I should make in a similar fashion, please let me know. Thanks and subscribe.